If Salome had come to dance in Washington in the 1960s to perform the dance of the Seven Veils, she'd have taken second billing to Adriana, and Salome would have had to fight through the crowds for a view. She would execute a rapid spin and then suddenly drop to the floor with her back arched and her arms over her head. This was the famous Turkish drop. Her cymbal playing was stellar. Aida was one exciting dancer. His turban hid long golden hair that he would unleash while spinning and untwirling his turban. His coal-lined blue eyes pierced many hearts. Tall and mesmerizing, he was the ultimate freestyle male dancer in his time. His personal embellishment of this dance represented elements of both the Jamila Salampur and Bert Balladine styles. He was the first to introduce the workshop idea in Rammstein, Germany in the early 80s. He taught for many big names such as Dietlinde Karkutli of Frankfurt, Samara of Stuttgart, and Beata Sifuentes of Berlin. He opened the door for myself and many other seminar teachers to cross the ocean to teach on a more international level. Although she is an American, her unusual ability to perform the essence of Middle Eastern dance earned her the respect of Arabic, Armenian, Turkish, and Greek people alike. Dalina is one of the leading experts in the actual breakdown of dance movements and developed a notation called the Dalina Method. Americans began to discover Greek, Turkish, and Arabic restaurants. Her approach to the dance as a healthy and liberating art form won interest and admiration. She On one particular night, a customer placed a bill right where it caught perfectly in her belly fold, causing the note to flip neatly over. The crowd went wild. Helena realized that here was something really cute she could add to her show, so she began to practice the act in her spare time. Historians would agree that the tribal fusion style was birthed by Jamila Salampur in San Francisco, California in the 1960s. Balanat was the original version of tribal. This first performing and touring troupe was over 40 members strong. An imposing figure completely dressed in black and silver, black eye makeup, and black hair. Well, students like myself would shake in her presence. I moved Compton is America's first dancer in the Kawal genre. Kawal was what they called the dancing boys in Egypt during the Ottoman Empire. John's years of dance experience, a dynamic style, and genuinely warm personality make him a superb instructor as well as a truly exciting performer.